everybody. I'm Larry Ridley. This is Madden 18 on EA Sports. The Broncos have had a great season and want to find a way to continue that by picking up win number 11 on the year. It's the Wizards going up against the Broncos. For the call, let's send you out to the broadcast booth where we'll join our commentators, Brandon Guyton and Charles Davis. Thank you very much, Larry. EA Sports coverage of the NFL. The National Football League is here and on the air. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Orlando Wizards and the Denver Broncos. And hello again, everyone. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And Charles, we look at this Bronco team. They've got a full half season since their last loss. Winners of eight in a row. And you don't get on win streaks like this without your defense playing a big role. They've created quite an identity. And I know they want and expect this streak to get to nine. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Orlando Club. They, too, were winners last time out, so something's got to give here. I love it when both teams come in off of wins. Great mindsets, and it usually leads to a really well-played game. So here are the Broncos now for their opening drive. And out will come the leader of this offense, and that, of course, is their signal caller. the 29 just shy of the 30 call it a gain of four on first and that'll make it second down and the big boys up front in the trenches what do you think of the o-line charles i love them because this is a group that's so cohesive they know what the man next to them is going to do at all times and they operate as a terrific unit It's Barton, and he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Broncos first down. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. And early on, they're picking up right where they left off last week. And I know a lot of coaches say each game is its own. You don't really have carryover. This feels like carryover. So much confidence from the previous game that they're using to their advantage now. Being chased out left. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. Now a play fake here on first down. Now he's forced out right. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. Now, that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. They'll look to throw. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. What are your thoughts on this D-line? I love a unit that can control the run and get after the passer. This is an all-around terrific defensive front. Hard to move the ball against them on the ground, and then when you want to throw it, look out. Here they come after the quarterback. So third down, just one yard to go. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. Encroachment, the defense. 
And the movement there coming from the middle of the line. And you understand he wants to get off the ball quickly, but the ball's right in front of him. He has to watch it move first. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he is into the end zone for a Denver touchdown. A great effort there. Hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Broncos take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. One of the keys to their long winning streak has been scoring first. An ideal drive right there, getting the first six points of the ball game. Do you go back to our meeting with the offensive coordinator? Oh, Remember yeah. what he told us? Absolutely. With some teams, I script to probe in the early part of the game. Other teams, I script to attack. They've been in attack mode for these ball games and continue that in this one. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he will take it back only to about the 13-yard line here. So out comes the offense now with a long field ahead of them. And leading them, Charles, their quarterback, their field general. Throwing on first down, Gomez. And the Broncos get there and take him down. And Charles, despite this list of key inactives that we see here, they've obviously still been pretty successful. Give everyone credit for this one, because to me, when that happens, key guys are out, the next man steps up and plays well, but that starts with the organization itself, all the way through. No excuses for guys being out, finding guys who are capable backups who can step up and play when they need them, and we've seen the results of that. This team knows how to work through things. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. And the Buffet Boys, the O-line, hopefully they're ready today. Listen, you got to feed them first. But if you do, you usually get a great product out on the field. And when they play well, the quarterback can't wait to feed them afterwards. Let's go! Three, nine, and again, this time to the tailback. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. Well, as an offense, you know, some drives you have it, some drives you don't, and this one looks like a you don't. Yeah, no doubt about it. I mean, it was third and long. It was screaming for a pass. I think they tried to outguess them there with the running play. They didn't fool them at all. Went in the wrong direction. Call that one an even 60 yards, 6-0. And the Broncos take over, first down and 10. An update now from out in Southern California. And it's the Chiefs that have grabbed the early lead over the Chargers. We'll keep you updated on that one as it progresses. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Wide open receiver complete. And he's taken down, but not before getting this across midfield and just shy of the 40. A really good pickup of 28 yards. I know we just saw a nice throwing catch, but how about the big guys up front and creating that time? time. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what they did. They created time and allowed the space to happen, and it turned into a really nice play. Encroachment defense. Yeah, he got a little aggressive too early. And he did, wanting that quick takeoff as the ball was snapped, but I think sometimes those big guys on offense, they're pretty cagey too, right? They make those little sudden moves or those little subtle moves that get you to jump. Yeah, it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. The numbers for him from a week ago. Three catches, 74 yards. And he was able to haul that pass in there, but he knows he's got a tough task ahead of him. This unit in the top five in the NFL against the pass. He's going to have to really work hard to get open. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. One quarter in the books. 7 nothing is our score. EA Sports NFL Sunday returns. 
following this. The NFL on EA Sports is fueled by Gatorade, the sports fuel company. Back alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's Bronco football to begin quarter number two. And they're on the move as they face a second down here. to his left and he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14 yard line the improv act they're good for nine and now they'll be looking at a third and short third and one well he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield waiting for someone to get open but once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush it was time to make a break for it escaping the and he fumbled it it's on the ground and the defense will get their hands on it going the other way and a big turnover there his guys will get the football back. When I see a play like that, I come back to risk reward. I, I don't know about you, but is it worth it at that point, whatever you're going to pick up, to either take the hit and in this case, lose the football? So it should have gone down. I mean, hindsight's always 20-20, but that's the safe play. You're exactly right. Hindsight's really never wrong, is it? Because you can analyze it. But I think ultimately you got to look at it as a first option taking care of the ball, getting what you can, and that's it. Don't worry about it anymore. A gain of three, second down. And that's frustrating for a defense because they've got them pinned down deep, and on the first play, they give up a run that keeps an offense on schedule. Because yeah, three to four yards, that's all you're looking for right there, right? That's absolutely perfect, really, as a play call. You get three to four yards on first down, that's what they talk about us all the time, about being ahead of the chains or on target, ahead of schedule. They were after that run. And he'll give it here to his running back. And they're going to get the first down here across the 15-yard line. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. A handoff as they run the counter play. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. Nine. Well, that the very definition of fast. Suddenly. Yeah, blink. Eye, that fast and a big sack. Third and long. Offensively, not a real surprise. They're in the... surviving back there. And to think, there's still eight to go in this game. Boomer. And now it's called for and taken just outside the 40-yard line. An update now from out in Southern California. And it's the Chiefs that have great
he's taken down. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. Now they'll, he's going to rifle. Intercepted it is, it's intercepted. Picked off at the 19. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And that was a young pup, the rookie, being intercepted by a veteran. Field. But hey, look, I love playing these young quarterbacks. They don't know a whole lot yet, so I can use my position to make a play. Now this offense ready to head back out there. And this is their third drive. Maybe the focus right now not so much on points, but getting their first first down. And when you start off a game, you don't even think that's an issue, do you? But you go a drive, a second drive, no first down, that becomes an issue. Now you got to think about, okay, what type of play calling do I have to do to get us in a spot to pick that first one up? Seven yard line. And it's a 14 yard pickup, but it'll still be second down. Gomez now. And he's got his man on the out route. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. That one goes for 13 yards and it moves the sticks. Throwing the first down. Got his man complete over the middle. Mark. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they in the first half. And we're back. The offense had a chance to talk things over. We'll see what they come up with. And now a first down following that long game. Here we go now. Operating from the gun. Gomez. Oh, he's got a man wide open. Timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. So here we go, first and ten now. Gomez operating from the gun. And they're going to get him. He's sacked back around the 28. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Looks like somebody may have forgotten the snap count and a five-yard penalty ensues. All-star offense. And that'll set him back five. his way forward here for a good little game. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime.
So on third down, the field goal unit will come out as they'll try to get three before half. This a 43-yard attempt. And the 14-year trusty veteran able to knock it through. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So a field goal here. They're still down, but they put a dent into that lead before the break. And that's got to feel good because now they've seen that they can put some more points on the board, and that gives them a whole second half to get back to where they want to be, and that's in the lead. After the made field goal, Santos back out there to kick it away. This one taken from the seven. And with time running down, they go down to a knee. So we've reached intermission here in a low-scoring game. 7-3 is our score. As we send you on down to our studios in Orlando, where standing by is Larry Ridley with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Thanks, Brandon, and welcome to the EA Halftime Report. Let's take a look back at the first half. Both the Broncos and the Wizards haven't figured out yet how they're going to move the ball through the air. The defenses on both sides have kept points off the board, and it will be interesting to see if they can keep that up. So here we go. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. Now first and 10. Fancy footwork here with the spin. He caps off the seventh play drive with the score. First and 10. Oh, he's going to push his way to the QB here. This ends up as a huge loss in yardage. Now to late in the first half, offensive line won't be able to hold up here. This ends up as a huge loss in yardage. From our EA Sports Studios, let's get back to Denver with Brandon and Charles.
Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is fielded at the goal line. And he will be brought down here to the 17-yard line. So here they come, the road team now getting the football first to start this third quarter. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. Now Gomez on first and ten. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And a loose football, but this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. The front office all smiles when the ink went dry on this new contract. Yeah, because oftentimes the front office and the coaching staff may have different opinions about the value of a player. I think everyone was in sync on this one. He's a guy that they needed to keep. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Tough day, tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. Here's Gomez to throw on second down. The coverage there in both of these defenses. They've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it. And in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? Offense. That's going to set him back five yards. And this offense on third down today, just one for three thus far. This is third and 14. Gomez now from the gun, he'll throw. And he'll be brought down right at the 45 yard line. 14 yards there on the pickup, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. So now a look at the Broncos as they head back out there for their first possession of the second half. They have the lead here. Well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches. What are halftime speeches like? For the most part, not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, though, they'll get after you if they think they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go into the virtual locker room because here's what I think happened. They got in there and they said, listen, Let's take control right away. Yeah, Defense, we got the lead. Yeah. We got the, de we got the, we got the lead. Defense, don't give up any points. Turn the ball back over to the offense and let them go down and score and give us more of a cushion in the game. Through an opening, and there he goes. Pass the 20. And all the way home for a Broncos score. A big play there. An 80-yard touchdown. And the Broncos will add on to their lead. When they drew that up, I don't think they envisioned it ending in a house call, but he got it and took it all the way home. Really impressive run after the catch, wasn't it? That was a that was really him. But let's face it, today's NFL, those tight ends are off receivers or maybe even sometimes running backs position to get a 
matchup. Ability certainly in ten. Two plays, eight to score. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard. And here now the offense heading back out there. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk. The field, not really move the ball well. It's the red zone, let alone they put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. Throwing is Gomez. Off the play fake. He'll be brought down by the Broncos. It's a sack. Brandon, I think you understand the type of afternoon this offensive line is having. It is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Long for them trying to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks. And the speed and quickness of that defensive line is eating them alive. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. Give him two yards on that play, and that's going to make it fourth down. Well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath by all means. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. Fair catch called for right around the 11-yard line. It's a 69-yard punt. 69 yards. Wow. And it'll be first and 10 Broncos from deep in their own territory. They go play action here on first down. Oh, and this ball's tipped and intercepted. Picked off around the 37, and they will set up shop in enemy territory at the 42-yard line. Well, there definitely was some juice on that pass. And while tight ends don't always have the same reputation for hands as wide receivers do, in this case, that ball was expected to be caught. Out comes this offensive unit as they get set to take over here. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. So the offense looking at a second and eight. a couple here down to about the 38-yard line. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action and hit them over the top. To throw on third down. Gomez over the middle complete. That's Clark. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough. First. Call it a gain is seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was. An update now from out in Southern California. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. Patrick Mahomes, a couple of touchdown passes thus far. Fresh set of downs here. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he is going to lose yardage here. That's going to go, and it'll be second down. With the struggles we're seeing up front for the offense today, they've got to think about changing up their play calling. Some screens, some drives, some quick hitting plays in order to try and supplement the run game. You don't totally abandon it, but you try and give it a little bit of help. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. 
I can't help it. I'm just sitting back in admiration right now. This defense tells everyone that plays against them, you're not beating us running the football. That's who we are. That's what we're about. It's not going to happen. If you're going to beat us, you better pick another way. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Offense on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is and ten. Gomez operating from back made the bound. So hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've maybe from you, I don't know, but you're gonna get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. Well, you know a coach said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual not a chance. way easier said than done. All right, scores to get back in the game. The field goal then maybe not exactly what they wanted, but it's a necessary first step. Still plenty of time remaining, but you could really use a stop after the kickoff, preferably a three and out. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Get the captain of this all. And he comes out of an energy through last time they had the ball. Yeah, and you know the that I know, the ones, the ones that really know how to lead, they tell them, that's on me. That's my bad, but let's go back out there and move ahead again, guys. We can get this done. One good thing for them, it did only lead to three points and not a touchdown after that turnover. Big thanks to the defense. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. A good pick up there, eight yards on the first down completion. Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the and that's caught inside the 30. And that one results 35 yards. Defensively, they're okay with that. Short little route, tackle him inbounds. Okay. All right, cliche alert. It's time for someone to make a play because they've got to have something bigger downfield. They can't just take what they give them. They've got to force it and make something big happen for them. And that is caught. Touchdown. And they use that height on the outside to get the score. We've seen the evolution of the wide receivers. They've gotten taller and taller, but they've retained their quickness and their speed. It's a lethal combination. To have wide receivers with height. Just a four-play drive that time, and it ends with a Denver touchdown. Now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And you combine a big leg with a mile high air. There's the outcome. This will sail out of the end zone for a time. So out now comes the off. Win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. A good pick up there, a 22. Now Gomez on first down. Throwing right, and that's complete. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. And the play goes for 19 yards. Get set of downs. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. You know, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. It's up second down. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out there. Here's Gomez looking to throw on second down. And seeing no row, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. 
Well, my initial thought was that maybe he was just trying to blindly throw this one away, and maybe he was. But he's going to get away with it because as he tried to throw it over the left sideline there, there's a receiver right in the area. So nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. They're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Time for a break. We'll come back and see this one out after this. Expected they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And the pressure gets to him again. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Broncos will take over on downs. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about slim and none? Well, slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. down to none? Yes, exactly right. They run the counter now on first down. And he's got some space here. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop, 150 left in the football game. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. Now here's Whistles and another timeout. That'll be their second, so one more chance to stop the clock here. And we'll be back. Now a handoff here to his running back. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. So first and second down went the wrong direction. They'll try to do better here on third and 13. Back to throw. Cook. Going right side here, and that's complete. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. Denver has a first down on the 15-yard play. That one looks like he'll throw here. Sliding out of the pocket. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Brandon, that's just football 101. If you're out of the pocket, you've got to get rid of the football in this situation. You cannot take a sack in a two-minute drill. He took a hit on that last play. Now let's see how he and the offense respond on second. Off the play fake. Cook. Flushed out right. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Pretty nice gain on the scramble. Gets him 12 yards. Partner as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. Third down and one. Looking to throw. Cook. Oh, incomplete. Nearly the pick they needed. They would have loved one there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. I think he's taking an awful chance with the football right there. You've got to lead. You've got to protect it. And he's taking chances, put in a little bit of jeopardy. Especially in a spot like this, fourth quarter, as you said, trying to cling to that advantage. Yeah, that one probably should have been picked, huh? On the NFL scoreboard there in the fourth now in Carson. And it was the Chiefs who emerged victorious there. Patrick Mahomes, three touchdown passes to help lead the way. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Now this offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take it? Sometimes teams want that and coaches want one time team game like this and you knew it was and a coach call for something x one they're gonna start line for the bird they go d and charles i think was out all team or where they're predicted to finish talking your home they were able to do that here in this one similar to match right not letting them break it done good 
So for Denver, continue to keep pace for that first round bye as they move to 11. Hit the week to take on the Miami Dolphins. Meanwhile, for our visitors, and they needed to turn this on, but instead they fall to five and seven. And they'll get a home date next week against the Kansas City Chiefs. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Those are winners as we say so long from Denver.